So Curious Jay. What up? Agent you seem to have made a friend in the comments yeah. on our Sorrow Eclipse uh, video here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we posted the uh, the curiosity, if you will, over the solar eclipse and the shadow created on Earth. And I was reading through the comments, and there were so many great comments on there. And I, I came across one of them that actually disagreed with what we were curious which, about. Which there's nothing wrong with. No, not Absolutely at all. We encourage wrong. that. In fact, yeah. we ask for that in almost all of these videos. We say, please show us otherwise. But I was reading over uh, a guy's... And a guy's comment, and he actually started saying, look, it's simple triangle. It's a simple um, mathematical formula. Look at the picture that science gives you. It makes a triangle. There you go. And then, you know, I replied and said, well, you know, with all due respect, the shadow gets larger when you move the object away from the earth. And please, again, if you're catching this video and you haven't seen the first one, Go watch that one. We'll put the uh, the, the link. link. will be in the description. Yes. yes. So watch the original one first. You know, read through the comments if you want. But um, I and I mean no respect to uh, Mr. Lawrence B. No disrespect. No disrespect <laughs> at all. I mean Lack no respect <laughs> is disrespect. I mean no disrespect <laughs> to uh, to Lauren B. for the comment. Uh, I encourage we encourage those. We encourage those. But he was saying that that's not what we see in reality, and I I beg to differ. And then he came back and mentioned how the guys in the video were babbling. And I don't think you realize like that, uh, that, that who he was. Yeah, right. Like exactly right now. But he said that, look, if they showed an experiment, it'd be better. But they didn't. They didn't even show the experiment they did. So here's what we did. All right. So I went into the basement, Agent S. Okay. And I grabbed one of the uh, studio lights that I have. Don't know the exact wattage, but you can look it up. It's a Westcott Basics, right? It's got five switches so it can get really, really bright. I put it 25 feet away from the wall, as far away as possible. You can see that I shut the blinds because it was daytime, right? So I shut the blinds in the room so that there would only be one light source. Turned off all the overhead light in the room. In fact, to prove that there's only one light source, I'm going to go ahead right now and just turn off the lights on this big studio light, okay? Okay. And what that basically does is, like I say, I, wanna sh I just wanted to show everyone, prove that there's only one light source here, right? So I'm going to flip them off one at a time here. And uh, it's going to get dark here in just a second. You need one of those stable cams or What's something. What's really funny is, is you <laughs> notice, I noticed while I was doing this, check oh, out, oh, check the, out shadow. the shadow. Oh, yeah, wow. check out the shadow. It's larger, right, than the object. Duh. But here's the lights going down, and boom, there's all the lights off. So look, it's a dark room. So bam. Here's the objects I used in the experiment. A coat hanger. Uh, we're not professionals, folks, okay? We don't claim to be. Here's some tape and a little bit of plastic well, that's cookie a, that's a name brand coat hanger though if you think about it's it a, it's, it's a very classy cheap, coat a dollar hanger. store coat no, hanger. no 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 uh, neither is this tape this is some good tape right here um so anyway this is going to be my moon all right so i wanted to be able to hold it without my arm casting a large shadow put it against the wall and move it away from the wall and what happens well the shadow gets bigger it takes a while you got to go further further back further and further back but it gets larger okay now i realize well it's tough to show in this video so I used a box that I could actually write on. Now you can really see it. Watch this. That's the actual size of the cookie there is, uh, is in pen. And it's now, going as outside I get further the line. Away, yeah, correct. I can see it. Yeah. See that? It gets less clear and larger as you go back. Look at that. Look at that. It's larger than the object itself. And this is what we were talking about. And we were told that we didn't do the experiment or show the experiment. So I'm just showing a, a very basic one right here. Now, I actually went as so far as to mark a second ring. I held the moon or the cookie about a foot and a half away from the cardboard, right? Now to scale, what would you say a foot and a half would be? I'm going to get to scale in one second right oh, now. Wow, so no. the, yeah, yeah. We're on the same page because that's what I thought too. It's like, well, it's not to scale. It's not to scale. Okay. First of all, when the sun is supposedly 93 million miles away, it's almost impossible to do it to scale. Okay, well, we referenced that in the first videos. Uh, some points about being to scale. Correct. The way the experiment was. Correct. Now this is about a foot and a half away. You can see my second mark on the cardboard, and you see a darker spot in the middle, like mm -hmm. they claim. But if we did it to scale, all right, the green circle would represent the Earth at twenty at an eight thousand, roughly eight thousand miles in diameter. The smaller circle in the middle would represent the size of the moon. Okay. And now let's hit play. Now that's the moon. Now the the shadow that shows up on the earth is actually 
about 100 miles wide, okay? That would be this little bitty dot. You see the little dot right there? That would be Not the little really. dot. I see. I kind of see it. It's yeah, tough yeah, to see, right? Yeah. So that would be the, what science says the shadow is. Now, this drumstick is our moon. It's the same size as the, uh, the 2,000 diameter moon, right? What I did was I measured, okay, let's get 240,000 miles away. Came out to about a foot away from the source, okay? So I'm measuring here to about right there. So there's my position of the moon. So let's see what happens. We take the drumstick. We move it away from the earth, okay? And as we move away, what happens to the shadow? Gets bigger again. And we're not even a foot away. Look at, the, look at the shadow there. It's hard to see, but it's huge. Huge. It's like five times bigger than the earth. And that is relatively to scale. Of course, the light source would actually be, you know, uh, probably 50 times further away if we did it accurate. But no way, shape, or form do we ever see this, what science tells us. A little bitty dot, a clear and defined dot shadow about 100 miles wide. It just doesn't happen. Every single time you move an object away, the shadow gets larger. So to my friend out there who is relying on the geometry to uh, explain away science's diagram, all right, it's simple, it's simple geometry. He says it's simple triangles and he trusts triangles. I would say to him and to anyone else out there, please show me an experiment where you can move an object closer to the light and that shadow gets more defined and smaller as it goes.